What's up everybody? Welcome back to Figure It Out, Out of the Basement's action figure talk show. Today, we are going to be giving you our top 5 Black Series wish list for Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7. Yay! Oh. Of course, I'm Nate, joined with Justin. What's up guys? And Clone Wars Season 7 just wrapped up on Monday. So before we get into our top 5... Justin, how'd you feel about the season? Well, the season as a whole, it started out kind of like how you expect Clone Wars to go. You know, with the Bad Batch arc and the Sister Ahsoka arc. It was kind of like regular old Clone Wars. Much because they were just unfinished. At least the Bad Batch was just a batch of unfinished episodes that they polished and released. I'm not sure if the sister arc was the same one, but it was standard Clone Wars. I was enjoying it. And then that third arc came around with the Siege of Mandalore and Ahsoka and spoilers for the entire season. Obviously, why would you be watching this Uh, with the Order 66 stuff and Maul and everything and especially the ending? I could not have asked for a more poetic ending to the Clone Wars. I I absolutely love the Clone Wars. After the original trilogy, it's like my favorite Star Wars thing. So it it was a perfect ending for me. It was a, it was a delivered in every way. Loved the classic, you know, uh, Lucasfilm logo and everything. And it's sad that it's over, but I like I said I could not have asked for a more beautiful and poetic ending with Vader and that whole sequence at the end definitely i i agree with you like the bad batch episodes were awesome and the ahsoka stuff was good i don't necessarily get all of the hate that those episodes are receiving yeah it was just Uh, like classic classic clone wars like the stakes weren't that high right so just some low stakes good old-fashioned low stakes clone wars yeah (laughs) yeah but the siege of mandalore arc was absolutely incredible. It also has one of the best lightsaber duels in all of Star Wars, I'll say it, between Ahsoka and Maul. And Maul was motion captured by Ray Park, who played Darth Maul in Episode 1 and Solo. And uh, Ahsoka was motion captured by the lady whose name escapes me at the moment that plays, plays the armorer in the Mandalorian. Yep. So there's a really awesome mocap video of both of them doing the fight choreography and it was just amazing and it translated so wonderfully into animation that I would I was honestly, I could feel my eyes misting up at how awesome it was, like just to have such a satisfying lightsaber duel, because it's been a really long time since we've gotten a really satisfying lightsaber (laughs) duel in Star Wars. Yeah, I mean, considering the new trilogy, like, absolutely. And there were just so many nice tie-ins to not only Revenge of the Sith, but there was tie-ins to comic books. There are tie-ins to Star Wars Rebels and yeah. even uh, Solo a Star Wars story. So there was just all sorts of connections. None of them were like super right in your face. They were just nice and subtle and made sense in the context of the story. So it's really well yeah. handled. Very good they, music too. I don't know if oh, you and I yes. have talked about this yet, but it's almost like Blade Runner. A lot of people are saying it's very like Blade Runner-esque. Yeah, I loved the music. It was just fit right in it wasn't your standard star wars score although it does feature a lot of classic themes right but it did a lot of new and interesting stuff that you don't really see in star wars a lot and i really i really enjoyed the music i was just gonna mention uh son of dathomir really quickly because i know you and i both just recently read that comic book right so if you're looking for more clone wars era goodness out there check out Darth Maul, Son of Dathomir. It's a four-issue comic book series based on unfinished Clone Wars episodes? 
Uh, I know there's an arc that they refer to as Son of, De Son of Dathomir. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it covers, but it's obviously in between when Darth Maul gets captured by Sidious and how he basically escapes and goes back to Mandalore for Season 7. Clone Wars Season 7, I think all around, um, damn good. Now I want more, but unfortunately that was the end. I want to ask you guys, audience members out there, Justin and I and Bucky, even though Bucky has not been on the channel in a very long time, he's still out there. He's still alive. <laughs> uh, we've been tossing around the idea of expanding the channel and covering more Star Wars related content outside of action figures. And I want to know if any of you guys would be interested in hearing our opinions about said things, you know, maybe like an in-depth review of Clone Wars Season 7 or reviews of all the movies or comic book recommendations, stuff like that. Or so, perhaps even game? Yeah, if you guys want to see us play some Star Wars video games. We've been, we've been kicking this idea around, but we're not sure if anyone out there would be interested. So let us know one way or another in the comments down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and kick off this top five Black Series wish list video with number five. And again, full spoilers ahead. Justin, what is our number five pick on our Clone Wars Season 7 wish list? Well, well we like to cheat, but this cheating makes sense. Number five is going to be the, the Bad Batch. Yep. It goes without saying. I mean, I'm sure some people are probably surprised this is our number five pick. True. But, um, you know, all super awesome, interesting, unique designs of clones. You got Hunter, Crosshair, Wrecker, and Tech, who all have unique designs, all have unique clone armor as well. Yeah. Which one, which one is your favorite design? Uh, probably crosshair. Yeah, you know, crosshair. I I, I kind of like the the old quiet, hard ass sniper type. Definitely, I think crosshair and hunter have the easily the best designs. Hunter kind of looks like uh, Rambo. Yeah, John Rambo. <laughs> like, For sure. I was, I was like, is this like an intentional nod to Rambo because he has like the black mullet and the red headband? And yeah. I mean, I wouldn't put it past anyone to be referencing uh, Rambo, especially the way that the Bad Batch works. They have a lot of great action scenes together, yep. uh, and uh, they would all would make super interesting figures. Yeah, there was some really good like cinematography with their fight scenes as well. Like, there's a lot of tracking shots with like no music, and it's just True. like no dialogue no music and they're just destroying droids i really like that those first few episodes with them yeah obviously really easy pick um would all would make really great figures let's just do a four pack hasbro let's just put them all out one four pack call it a day why not coming in at number four is the 501st ahsoka clone trooper which it would be amazing to get a re-release of the standard 501st clone trooper but True. with the introduction of these new uh, ahsoka battalion i guess clone troopers where they have the orange uh face paint to mimic her face it would just be even better right and they should put it on the new like camino clone trooper body that will have the fixed elbows and kind of the more like clone wars look for the helmet yeah, which we got we got some comments on that video about people not being too thrilled about the Clone Warsy look, but that Clone Trooper specifically has only ever been in Clone Wars, right? But I don't even really think it's that like Clone Warsy of a design. I think it's more so uh, just slight a slight nod, right? It's, which it would also, still fit in. With yeah. the rest. Which also, I think someone pointed out uh, that that clone trooper body actually has uh, single jointed elbows, or what appears to be single jointed elbows, which w still would not upset me. I think that would still be a okay, especially yeah. because 
you get less than 90 degrees on the standard clone trooper which yeah. has a double elbow yeah double elbow but it's blocked so the double jointed elbow is completely useless besides like yeah. the captain rex right and which Bly, is a, i think has it although neither of us have it yeah Bly and rex are on the same body but for yeah. whatever reason hasbro didn't just adopt the rex body to be the uh you know standard clone body going forward they were just like eh. We're just going to do two figures on it. Right. And there's a, there's a lot of great moments with the 501st Ahsoka clone trooper, like just obviously battle sequences, but some of them are like really intense, like uh, with Darth Maul's faction of Death Watch, and then you have Bo-Katan's faction of Death Watch plus the clones, and there's a lot of great little, tiny little battle se- sequences with them. So you have them fighting Mandalorians, you could have them fighting Ahsoka, you could have them fighting Maul. There's a lot of things you can do if they would release this figure, which I think they will. I think they will. Easily, out of everything we have listed, this would probably be the most likely to actually come out, just because it is, at this point, a simple repaint. Right. And And they could put it on the classic clone body mold, which, for the love of God, I hope they don't. Right. Uh, or they can, you know, put it on the new body mold, which would be fantastic because it looks great. Yep. Speaking of Bo-Katan and speaking of clones, there are some figures that I would really love from Season 7 that are not going to be on this list. Number one being Bo-Katan because she was already on one of our lists. I think it was the Rebels list. And then Jesse would be another pick, but we just thought... A few more we would rather have. Uh, So coming in at number three is Gar Saxon. Or Saxon. And this is a very interesting character. I think he has a great story. He actually originated in that Dark Horse 2014 uh, Darth Maul Son of Dathomir comic book. Uh, He also pops up in Rebels. And then we also get to see him in this season of Clone Wars in his best look with yes. his crazy Mandalorian armor that is obviously like honor also honoring Darth Maul or Maul with the right. horns on his helmet and like the yellow light up visor yeah so dope it's such a badass design also you know throw Rook in there as well throw her in there too yeah uh, but yeah the design of Gar Saxon alone is so cool that it deserves its own figure i'd really take any of maul's uh mandalorians although obviously if hasbro was going to do one like why wouldn't you go for his first in charge right which also has the most unique design because uh they don't all have the horns on their helmet but right yeah that would just be absolutely amazing Obviously, I haven't watched Rebels, so I don't know a whole lot about him as a character, but just from the time I've spent with him uh, reading Son of Dathomir and his Season 7 appearance, I'm on board because he just looks so badass. Yeah, like he becomes the governor of Mandalore, like under the Empire's rule, and he has this like legion of Imperial Super Commandos, and they're just their design is so dope we also put them on our rebels wish list and in rebels he does get the dark saber so let's also get the dark saber in the black series in one way or another because there's so many different characters who have held that saber that we just we need it we need i dude i hope i hope that when we get a moff gideon or perhaps someone else that's going to appear on this list I hope Hasbro gives us the Dark Blade. Yep. The Dark Saber. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so Gar Saxon. Yep. And speaking of Gar Saxon, number two is Lord Maul, a.k.a. Darth Maul, a.k.a. just Maul. Yeah. Whatever you'd like <laughs> to call him. 
because uh, I mean he is technically not a Darth anymore. He right. Is technically not a Darth. Yeah. Uh, specifically, his season seven look, which is pretty similar, I guess. What do you What do you think? Uh, I would I would like to see a Moth. The re- The reason why I would want him on this list so bad is because I think it'd be cool to get his exact look from Clone Wars. Like not. No disrespect to Ray Park, but we already have that Phantom Menace figure. So I think right. it'd be nice. Kind of like, you know, how Count Dooku looks different from Christopher Lee. It's like that Clone Wars art style where it doesn't necessarily look like a realistic human body or yeah. face. So I think it'd be cool to get that style of Maul. And with yeah. obviously the metallic, you know, robo legs. It's a different hilt. His double-bladed lightsaber is obviously from phantom menace was destroyed and then he had a single blade lightsaber in the clone wars he lost that he had the dark saber at one point he lost that and now in season seven he has his double bladed but it is different so i think it'd be cool it'd be a new lightsaber um and his outfit like you can see his chest with the his skin chest you know with the red and black and i think it'd just be a, a really cool figure to have which I also think that they put this costume recently into uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 for uh, Darth Maul. But, yeah, it's I mean, it's obviously not too different from your standard Maul look, but it would just be so awesome. Maul's come such a long way from Phantom Menace. I think as a character, he deserves another figure for his alternate costume although he has several costumes throughout uh clone wars and rebels um but this new one is just so badass he has like shoulder pads and like you said you get you can see his like exposed chest also maul kind of just has like a like a longer face in Mm -hmm. clone wars so it would just it would just be a unique version that I that I think we could definitely see. Yeah, and it's also close enough to his look in Rebels, so you could have him fighting like old man Obi Wan, which would True. also be dope. Yeah. So I think it's time, and also you know they could give us an updated Maul with some a little bit better articulation. Not that the first Maul release is horrible, but right. You know, put some butterfly joints on there, maybe figure out a way to get a double elbow or a deep yeah. cut elbow on the right. figure because Maul's very agile so it would be awesome to have a lot of nice articulation packed into a, a Clone Wars era Maul right so Jarek what is our number one pick so, it should be no surprise to anyone yeah. at this point yeah it's no surprise it is a update to ahsoka tano not even an update this would have to be an all-new mold uh, because this is when she's younger we already have an ahsoka tano from her look in rebels it's in that art style i know a lot of people are not a fan of the rebels art style um but it would be great to get a younger ahsoka tano from the clone wars and specifically you know you wouldn't go wrong with just doing the season seven look of ahsoka i mean she's one of my favorite characters in star wars definitely probably top three and i would take any iteration so why not do not when she's a super super young padawan like the movie or like season one but like when she gets a little bit older and she starts dual wielding um i i would rather have that look maybe give us alternate blades i think that would solve some of the issues with like some people are not a fan of her with the two blue instead of like the one green and one like yellowish green for the shoto saber i think it's called like the shorter one yeah uh so i think it'd be cool if they can give us some alternate blades with that figure as well Uh, a little first for the black series including alternate blades yeah yeah, that would be super awesome. Of course, a lot of people also don't have an Ahsoka figure. Right. They don't have the Rebels version. She's not like a crazy rare 
figure or anything like that but she is definitely above uh, retail price which you guys all know us we're 100 percent against spending any more than you need to on a black series figure so yeah she's Absolutely. like 50 dollars on amazon right now yeah that's a big no that's a big yeah. no which yeah the ahsoka figure that's already out definitely has some issues especially with it standing stand. up yep <laughs> One of the She's only got, figures that can't stand on her own right next to General Grievous. Yep. And it pisses She's, me off. She's got super tiny feet, and the way her boots are designed, it inhibits her ankle pivot articulation, so you it's just super hard to get her to stand up. But yeah, we need a new Ahsoka figure, and why not just go with the season seven look? I think she looks really awesome in yep. season seven. It would just be really dope. Maybe to get even a new come Ahsoka. with her cloak that she was wearing at the end yes in the, the finale cloak was, cloak was super badass i loved that ending so much and i can't wait until all the people come out of the woodwork who are big rogue one fans and they're going to be upset <laughs> that darth vader didn't ignite his red lightsaber and kill a bunch of people he just randomly starts slashing his own men for no <laughs> reason yep. why not so yeah that was our top five black series list for characters from clone war season seven we would like to see of course let us know who you would like to see from clone war season seven in the comments down below also let us know once again if you would like to see us branch out a little bit and talk about more than just star wars action figures it's okay if you don't want us to but you know let us know one way or the other because we want to hear from you we want to know what our audience wants to see yeah thanks for 2500 by the way yeah true we just hit 2500 subscribers that's awesome thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed whether you subscribed all the way back in 2015 during the dark times of out of the basement <laughs> or you just subscribed recently we love you all the same we're so happy for all the support that we've gotten over the years and the great support that we've been getting recently, especially with us literally reviewing figures that are five, six, seven years old and still showing up to watch those videos and leaving comments that, uh, that really, I really personally appreciate that. So yeah, of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, share this video with all your Star Wars loving friends. Of course, I'm Nate. I've been joined with Justin. See you guys later. Take care. And we will see you guys next time on Out of the Basement.